Sir Jim Ratcliffe says his work to take Manchester United back to the top of English football starts now. His £1.3 billion takeover of 27.7% of the club is now officially complete. The deal was passed by the Premier League last week and also got FA approval. Sir Jim said, to become co-owner of Manchester United is a great honour and comes with great responsibility. This marks the completion of the transaction, but just the beginning of our journey to take Manchester United back to the top of English, European and world football, with world-class facilities for our fans. Work to achieve those objectives will accelerate from today. And executive co-chairman Joel Blazer said he was looking forward to a bright future, now with Ratcliffe on board. Read more in FOOTBALLEAGUE of their own supercomputer predicts final prem table with title race wide open double up win a Porsche GT3 rupees and a Mercedes G63 AMG or £220,000 cash from just 85p Joel Blazer said, I would like to welcome Sir Jim as co-owner and look forward to working closely with him and Ineos Sport to deliver a bright future for Manchester United. His ownership will rise to 27.7% due to the initial capital investment of $200 million with the issue of new shares and then to 28. Nine percent by December 31st after a further investment of $100 million. Ratcliffe had already taken charge of football operations at the club. He has not wasted time by making major appointments at the very top of Old Trafford as well. Most read in football NORR woe Norrington Davies out for season after injury at Luton with Euro 2024 at risk camp now at Barcelona crisis as they are forced into fire sale and face European ban ORROR injury Crystal Palace U21 game abandoned as defender rushed to hospital after injury horror smash ex Premier League star UEFA Cup heroes seriously hurt in explosion car crash how to get free bets on football the Ineos chief has already poached Manchester City's CEO Omar Berada. He is now negotiating to release Dan Ashworth from his contract at Newcastle United to become Old Trafford's new sporting director. Manchester United's fall from glory since Sir Alex Ferguson already he has been looking at plans to build a brand new Wembley of the North to replace Old Trafford and make changes at the Carrington training ground. Ratcliffe's positive steps have already brought what has been described as a new energy to United. Indeed since his involvement was first officially announced on Christmas Eve United have won seven and drawn one of nine game in all competitions. Man United News Live. All the latest news from Old Trafford.